busy, busy bee packing up new sticker sets. We have these beautiful babies, uh, the larger die cut set with the creepy librarian, the larger ghost, and then the cacti witch in the back there. So I have those sets and then that comes with uh, a little ghost uh, thank you for your order card. So that is those. And then I've been working on these and I just got these and I'm so freaking excited. They are little ghost stickers. They're small. They're smallest stickers I've ever had made and I'm selling them as a set. So you get a pack of eight. So there's two of each design, four designs and you get two of each. Uh, and then it gets packed with the cute little uh, ghost card as well. I'm so, so happy with these. Could not be more excited about these. Just the fact that I'm selling like a pack is really fun. So I've been working on getting these packaged up just because I kind of started. Now I'm like, let me just get it done because I've got good momentum, but I'm so obsessed with these. They came out really good too. Like the colors look really good. It's got a really great matte finish to it. So I'm just really, I'm so pleased with these. And then here's the guy with the arms too. So he's like the small version of the larger one that comes in the three pack die cut. So cute. Oh my God. I just want to put these on everything. I'm debating between doing one of two things that I want to try to get done today. One is that Mr. Lurchy really needs a bath. Uh, number two is that I really want to rearrange some furniture in here. Is that of any surprise to any of you? No. I recently have learned that James no longer needs a desk over here. He no longer needs this workspace. So that means I can take it over, which is very exciting. So the whole room now is mine because James has his own workspace upstairs that we got furniture for, got him squared away. He's got his own little den upstairs. So I now can completely take over this room, which is very, very exciting. What I've been thinking about doing is taking his desk over here and moving it next to me over here and then shifting my desk over so that I'm a little bit closer to the window for some more natural light. It does get dark in this little corner over here. You can actually get a sense of it even just with the camera. So what I think I wanna do is put his desk here and then scoop this over so that I have basically like a giant L desk and then I can put my desktop on that desk kind of over there or put my desktop back to this side and then I have kind of more like counter space, so to speak. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, but I think that's what I wanna try to do. The thought has been itching at me, but I just know that it's gonna be a pretty time consuming project, but I also just really wanna do it, so I don't know. Also, Mr. Lurchy really needs a bath. He really is a stinky boy. He needs a big old pug bath as well. So I, knew, I do need to get Lurchy a bath, mainly because I have a new dog bed for him that a company sent me that I really wanna try. And I thought that I would unbox it and give it to him, but I wanna make sure he's clean before I open up and give him a brand new dog bed. I should probably be making art or filming videos, but I'm not. Let me tidy some things up and then maybe do a little rearrange. Look who just came to visit. Wait, thank you, Bobo. We think little squeeb. Did she just wake up? She's snoring so loud up there. Was she? She was so she relaxed. She loves it up there. We think we're gonna fall asleep. You gonna fall asleep, little bug? Living her best life. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm rearranging in here. Yeah, I came down and I saw the familiar look of Roxy like this. Is that my rearranging face? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now I'm thinking about actually just straight up putting my whole Tetris desk over it. there. Tetrising it in her mind. Is that crazy? Just straight up put my desk over there? But I hate having my back to the door. That's the only thing. I guess you're not going to get, I was going to say like, I don't know if you get too much sunlight over there, but it probably doesn't get that much. You don't, you don't like it over here? I think I'm trying to get closer to the window. That's my whole thing. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm thinking of it. I might just stick this straight up this way, maybe. Let me try that. I'm sure you'll try a bunch of stuff before you, you wind up getting I'll figure it, it out. Although I do think we are going to have more space to hang up two more of these over here. Mm -hmm. oh How long God, did that last for? Hey, you got a nice workspace upstairs. Yeah, a great workspace. So, Nothing it's not... I, again, for the record, you said I could take this room. I absolutely did. Because you got a sweet setup upstairs. Oh, it's, it's, make it yours. Alright. Make it special, Rox. That's right. Alright. We did it. Total 
rearrange. There's obviously still a ton of tidying up to do, but we're getting there. Um, I ended up just sticking my desk right up into the corner. The L piece just felt like too much, so I got the old desk out of here. So it's just nice big open floor space now, clear tabletop for the most part for filming and for more space for things. I do have to keep this chair in here because James plays, uh, we play D&D on the weekends, so I do need to keep an extra chair in here, plus I don't know where I would put that. So the extra chair does need to live in here, but that's fine, I can just keep it shoved in that little corner. For the most part, I'm gonna try this such, this setup and see how I like it and then kinda go from there. It feels so nice to at least have some progress going that, on that. I mean, I'm nowhere near like any kind of studio tour or anything like that, but the fact that it's like becoming more of a room, like I'm figuring out the function of the space, like I'm getting things situated, it makes me feel a lot better. And I can't, ex I can't stress it enough. Like I think your environment really directly impacts how you work, both just your productivity, your creativity. So if your space needs a little freshening up or just a little rearrange, it's the best thing ever. Uh, last week, or a couple days ago rather, I cleaned out my entire sticker storage and washi tape thing drawer. It was like chaos. I literally went through every little sticker that I owned and organized it into a book and it like, it brings me so much joy. Like it is so, freaking organized it is amazing like here's a little sneaky peek oh yeah organized so that is actually i filmed that whole thing for patreon that's going to be an organized with me video for patreon uh in march that will drop in march but right now i'm gonna make some coffee and then do some light tidying on my desk then i might do a little bit more etsy work or some drawing maybe i got some new ink maybe i'll play with that i don't know i need coffee first I'm currently filming for a Patreon, currently filming a Patreon video as I test these new inks. Uh, these are the, it's the transparent three set of the acrylic inks in uh, Sienna, uh, raw Sienna, burnt Sienna, and burnt umber. And oh my goodness, they are beautiful. I'm just kind of filming it for Patreon, unboxing it, testing it, and then I think I'm gonna play around and like draw some things in my sketchbook because I'm so close to finishing this sketchbook. So I might just, just get at it. And by the way, this is a new bookmark that I got made coming soon to Etsy. I've been putting it in my sketchbook. It's been actually really handy coming soon to my Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is like the perfect spot for my camera. It's like on a little, my little storage thing that I moved over here. It's like perfection. I am so pleased with where my desk is now. It just makes me feel so happy. I feel like I have more space. I just have more space and just, it's better. It's just a better use of the room and it's feeling a little less cluttered. I'm slowly going through and clearing things out, which has been really nice. I need to organize my art cart that's over here that's looking chaotic. The furniture is at least where I want it to be and it feels really nice to be in here working. So that I'm very happy with. Um, right now I'm just kind of doing some busy things. I'm starting my work day a little bit later because I had some uh, personal mom things to do this morning. So I'm actually starting my work day at 11 right now. So later than usual. I've got some coffee that I've treated myself with here and I'm offloading footage of things that I filmed yesterday. So things for uh, Patreon, the big art with me, sketchbook with me video, which I'm really happy with testing out those inks. It's, it's pretty cool. I am looking forward to keeping on playing with those. They're really fun, but it turned into like a big video and I didn't even mean it for that to happen. So I'm offloading that footage. I'm offloading this footage from the vlog of what I filmed yesterday. And then also I've been filming the progression of since we moved here and like setting things up. Like I wanted to just document like the long-term change of the space that I work in, like kind of kind of like leading up to a studio tour. And then once I have everything like in its place, organized, decorated, then I can actually film a studio tour. But I thought that it'd be fun to show like the realistic, like here's what my studio has looked like for the past few months and how long it took me to get to where it is now sort of thing. So I have footage from that as well. While that's offloading, I am updating my five-year planner because I did not get a chance to do that. So I need to do 
yesterday's entry and I can kind of start to dabble with today's so I can definitely take care of that. Last night whilst watching The Bachelor, I got another little batch of zines done, so that's good. So I can keep just working towards that Etsy shop uh, relaunch, which is good. Beyond that, I have, you know, just the continuous never ending list of things that I can dabble with, but I'll just decide what I'm gonna work on based on my mood. I do have a lot of editing to do, but I don't know how much editing I actually wanna do. We'll see, I'll figure it out. Lurch also still needs a bath. I need to give this stinky boy a bath. That definitely needs to happen today at some point, so. <laughs> at least, bare minimum, Lurch needs a bath today. That's gotta happen. I will say, I have my little bulletin board over here with my little post-its that I might need to move closer to me because I do find I use it quite a bit. I use it both as just like a quick list of what I need to edit as well as like, I the, the post-it method is really working for me, which you can go back and look two studio vlogs ago. Um, I talk about that, the projects that I'm working on and just trying to like clear my head out and organize my life a little bit better. And thus far the post-it system has been working out great. I use the bulletin board a lot that I think I might need to move it over like next to me on this wall over here, I think. Oh, there goes my little Coraline doll. I think I need to put it like here next to me in this little nook. Um, yeah, I think it will just make more sense that I can keep using it, which I think will be good. I'll admit I'm not having the most productive of days. <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I started doing some stuff and then I just, I feel tired. I think it's because I was up early this morning so I'm kind of like, uh, I'm just not really in the mood to do a lot of things. I just feel tired. Um, but I have to accept that that's okay. Not every day can be a crazy run around, accomplish 50,000 things in a day. But but I will say when I'm in a mood like this where I'm like, eh, I don't know what to work on, I, don't, I have things to do but I just don't wanna do it. Um, editing is such a great task to do when I'm in this sort of mood. So I actually just finished editing a 45 minute long Organize With Me video for Patreon um, that will go up in March. I recently reorganized, I think I showed this in this vlog earlier, I can't remember. I literally just recently organized every single sticker I own. Yes, every single sticker and every single roll of washi tape. So I have like one drawer at least in here is incredibly, incredibly organized. But I filmed the process of me cleaning that out and kind of putting a new system in place for that. I'm all about organizational systems, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and export this. It's rendering right now, I'm gonna export this. And then I, what I think I'm gonna do is just, honestly, I think I'm just gonna play in my sketchbook. You know, last night I was working on that, on that one spread with those inks and I was having a blast and I only have a couple of pages left in this sketch, sketchbook. So part of me is like, should I just focus on that? Like I'm so close to being done with this sketchbook. Maybe I should just work on that because I'm just not really in the mood to do anything else and maybe, maybe I'll get in the zone and like want to make some art. I also need to, maybe this is what I'll do. I'm just gonna play in my sketchbook and I also wanna kinda of start to brainstorm some ideas of tour video for the ghost zine. I wanna come up with something cool, like brainstorm different locations and how I wanna film it and stuff. Because it's such a cool little zine and I wanna do more than just a little flip through video for this. So maybe I'll brainstorm ideas for this and play around in my sketchbook and just have it all happen in my sketchbooks. I think that's what I'm gonna do now. And just play with some inks and just chill, maybe make myself a cup of coffee and just settle into just making art this afternoon while exporting a video. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's make some art.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I just approved some washi tape that I ordered. Washi tape is coming soon. Ah! Good morning, it is 10 a.m. on a Thursday and I'm dabbling on several different things right now. I was working on my five year this morning, getting caught up on this little guy. I've been sketching things in there but I had to kind of go back and ink some stuff out so I took care of that. I got some zines prepped. I've just been like every day trying to do big batches of these um, and as I was folding and prepping ghost zines, I am like was kind of starting to brainstorm what that flip tour video is going to be. And as I've mentioned, I really want to do something unique. I don't want to just, you know, have it in front of the camera and flip through the pages like I do with a lot of my zine tours. Some of them have more unique elements like things I've buried has a little bit more of a creative twist on it. Pools like I filmed that against like tile in my bathtub. You know, I try to make it look like it fits the vibe of the zine, but I really am gonna go ham with this one. And I think the goal, what's in my mind, and I'm bouncing between a few different things, is really giving each ghost its own like vignette, both in like the music, uh, the background. So like, I wanna create certain backgrounds for things, and I think some of them will be easier to accomplish than others. Like for the bride example, I'm actually thinking about digging out my wedding dress and using my wedding dress as like the backdrop and with like pearls and having it maybe on some wood so it like pulls elements of where this ghost actually is. And then with that, having like a music track that's kind of muffled in the background and then also just certain kind of like Foley sounds on top, whether it's whispering that I'm creating or... Um, sounds that connect to the ghost um and some situations i'm thinking about setting it up to where something moves or goes past certain elements it's hard to explain but what i'm trying to do is just create basically my general like shot list of what each one of these vignettes are going to be uh what props where i'm filming it and then kind of also making notes of like what the sounds are going to be for each one because I don't know, for me when I go to create a video, even just simple stuff like vlogs or um, art with me videos or things like that, I tend to pull music first. Like sometimes music is such a great starting place for me. Like um, my online classes are a perfect example. Like I usually will find like the theme song or, or like the one song that I'm gonna use throughout the whole course, sometimes before I do anything else, like literally before I even film the online class, I find that track and that becomes like the really good like starting point for me. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I have a lot of like blank pages in my Hobonichi at the moment, just because I've just had kind of just usual work days, nothing like really crazy going on to like personally journal about. So I'm using this to create my shot list and kind of to start doing each one because let's see, one, two, three, four, five, there's six ghosts and then I have my cover and back cover, which I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle that quite yet. Um, but I can at least start to list out the six different kind of vignettes and I'm starting to listen and pull music for that as well. So, um, I'm just kind of in the brainstorming planning process of this because this is definitely going to be a video that's going to take a lot more than just, you know, setting up and filming it. It's not something that I can film in a day, I don't think, which is so funny because it's going to be short. Like each one of these little vignettes are really short. Like there's not that much text that I'm reading off of each, like off each page. I think the level of detail and uniqueness that I want to create with each one is going to be pretty time consuming. So I need to try to organize myself figure out what each shot is going to be, what's entailed with it, and then I can kind of create that production timeline for myself, like, let me try to film these two vignettes this day, this one this day, and I think that will help me get a little bit closer to actually making it happen. So that's what I'm going to do, and then probably in between that, I am also just working a little bit in my sketchbook. I still have some things to ink out from yesterday that I kind of started. I'm really just experimenting. I'm experimenting with some different patterns and things and just continuing to play with this really fun uh, transparent ink that I absolutely love, um, which in hindsight would have been really great. All of these like earthy vintagey colors would have been great 
in my ghost scene, but it is what it is. The time has finally come to give Yaya a bath. That is my bathtub trickling in the background here, but I am now preparing for Lurchie's spa day. So I'm very grateful for having a third bathroom and this is our downstairs bathroom. And it's really great for bathing the dogs. I used to have to schlep them up several flights of stairs to take them to the one bathtub we had at our last place. But now I have like a dedicated like dog washing spot. Um, it's great too, we have like a little nook here where I hide dog towels and then I have little bins that I keep underneath my sink for all of my dog grooming bathing stuff. Also, true story, um, the thing with pugs, because <laughs> people ask me pug questions all the time. So this is some pug facts for you. Um, pugs are horrendous shedders. They are really bad shedders. People ask me, all the time. Like, I really want a dog and I love pugs, but do they shed? Yes, a thousand percent. They are like terrible, terrible shedders, but it is manageable if you groom them often. So uh, Lurch gets a bath probably every other week. Olive is the same. Olive needs special shampoo for her bath because she has um, some skin issues, but we maintain it through medicated shampoo. Um, again, because I like to adopt old dogs with problems. And now the thing with Lurchie, because he has hind back leg uh, weakness and he has some spinal issues now and he's his, his mobility is very hindered, he now gets way dirtier because he's really dragging himself you know, in grass and we have a yard now, so he's out, he's coming in and out a lot more. So Lurchy gets stinky way faster. Um, the other thing with pugs is that not only do they need to be groomed pretty frequently if you wanna stay on top of the shedding, is that their faces need to be cleaned often. We clean their faces every time after they eat. They get a face wipe and a nose rope wipe because all of those adorable little folds on their face can uh, big build up bacteria, it can build up yeast, and then it can actually create infections, you know, underneath their little uh, nose rope and folds in their face. So we do keep them pretty clean. Again, when they get cleaned, after every time they eat, we clean their faces down. And then I also clean them uh, even more when they get a bath and I get like put some Vaseline on their nose and any little dry patches on their little folds. So that is something, that's a trick I learned actually at the pug rescue. That's something that we used to do there. And then I also do their ears. So Lurch gets an ear cleaning uh, minimum once a week and then they also get eye drops. So Lurch and Olive both get daily eye drops. Um, and the eye drop thing is also a common thing with pugs because they have those bulgy eyes. Their eyelids don't always necessarily completely close on their eyes. So dry eye, um, as well as the little like shades as they get older is really common with pugs. So to help that and prevent that, you wanna keep it as lubricated as you can. So that is something else that I do with the dogs. Having a pug is, is actually quite a bit extra work than you might think it is because of all the folds and their adorable little faces. But anywho, I'm now going to get Mr. Lurchy in here for his spa day. Lurchy! Oh, Yaya! We also been calling him Yaya because Roman calls him Yaya. Oh, Yaya! Stinky boy. <gasps> Lurchy, you ready for your bath? You ready to take a bath, stinky boy? Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, hi, Yaya. Good boy. Oh. Ready for your bath, Lurchy? Ready? Here we go, my dude. You ready to get scrub a dubbed? Let's get scrub a dub dub. Good boy. You wanna get a little treat? You wanna go get a treat? Let's go get a treat. Come on, let's go get a treat in the kitchen. Come on, let's go get a treat. Come on, old man. Oh, we're being a good boy. Oh. Oh, here he comes, he heard packaging. Another reason why I wanted to give Lurchy a bath is because a pet bed company actually sent me what are you doing back there, Yaya? Uh, a pet bed company actually sent me a bed. 
uh, for free. This is not sponsored. They sent it to me uh, because they saw my YouTube channel and were like, hey, do you want to try one of our dog beds out? And I was like, heck yes, I do. This was sent to me for free, but it is not sponsored. It's nice and sunny in here, isn't it, yeah, yeah. So one of the reasons why I was excited and I said yes, because normally I'm, I'm really picky about the things that I say yes to regarding like free product. Um, first of all, the pet bed came like shrunken like this. So I'm curious to uh, take a look at it and open it up. But um, one of the things that drew me to this pet bed was that it's one of those like really poofy, like fluffy ones it looks like. And I used to have one of these, but the thing I didn't like about it was that it didn't have a removable, washable cover, which is critical for me to be able to take these things off and wash it. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Oh, lurchy. It comes in a bunch of different colors. This was the color that I picked. Where is the zipper though? This is supposed to be removable. Do I just wash this whole thing? Oh, it's fluffing up though. I'm confused. How do I remove the cover? Or do I just wash this whole thing? It's supposed to be washable. So maybe this whole thing is washable. The fact that it has like a grippy bottom on it is already better than the other one that I used to have. Interesting. I mean, it's fluffy as heck. The pugs are gonna love this. Olive especially is going to love this. Lurch, you wanna try out this new bed? Look at this new bed. You wanna give it a go? You wanna give it a try? What if I put it in the sunbeam for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You climbed right in. What do you think, yeah, yeah? What do you think? I mean, he climbed right in. We'll see how it goes. What do you think? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's burying himself in. Do you like it, yeah, yeah? Oh, bless you. What do you think, Lurchy? Do you like it? <laughs> do we like it? We'll see how long he lasts in it. One of my favorite things about Lurchy, by the way, is his little back paws. He's got these little floofs. These little floofs in his back paws. It's one of my favorite. Well, first review of the dog bed, it's cute as heck, and it's definitely fluffy. I mean, this is right up the pug's alley. The real test is gonna be how it washes, although I will say it does seem like something I can just throw into the washer. I used to have one that was like this, but it was filled with little beads and I could never wash it, which was awful and I had to just get rid of it. But I'm pretty sure I could just wash this like I would, you know, a normal like dog bed. So he's definitely gonna love it. This like fluffy texture, as you can see, he's already um, pretty cozy in there. So <laughs> I'm curious to see how Olive likes it, we'll see. But uh, for right now, the dog bed is a hit. I will put a link down below um, to that company that sent me this dog bed. Thank you again for hooking me up with a new pug bed in the rearranged studio. Um, again, not sponsored. They just sent it to me to, to check out. Oh my gosh. Nothing like smelling like dog after grooming your animals. Anywho, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here. It feels like it's been very, very random. Other than a lurchy spa day, I really don't know what else has happened because I've just been filming over the past couple of days. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a ghost zine tour coming soon. I think I'm gonna roll right into filming it after I wrap this clip up here. Stay tuned for that. And of course, just stay tuned for Etsy shop restock update coming soon once I get all this new merch in and packed up and ready to go, um, hopefully, the washi tape will be here by the time I launch things because that would be nice. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and if you're here, by the way, if you've made it this long through this vlog, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I feel like I forget to say that every video, but um, like and subscribe. It helps me out here on the channel. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.